On August 11th, I reached 500 subscribers and earned the right to make this video. As you can see, I also lost people along the way, but there's much more to be happy about. So how do you get 500 subscribers? A couple of months ago, I released this video when I earned 100 subscribers. Everything that I said back then still holds true to this day. But of course, I learned something new that allowed me to get 400 more. Let's talk about them. The first thing is to use your analytics. It's a must for every content creator to know at least the basics of it. It'll be overwhelming at first, but definitely worth your while. Here's how I did it. In Creator Studio, I set the filter to Lifetime and selected See More. I'd like to understand where my subscribers are coming from, so I selected More and then Subscription Source. As per the results, most of my subscribers are coming from the YouTube watch page. For those of you who don't know, Google says that these are subscriptions from the subscribe button on video watch pages. So diving deeper, I found out that my fire and ice strategy alone gave me 97 subscribers. Wow. This is how I imagine the subscriber's point of view. He or she must have seen this particular video and decided to subscribe to me because of it. I'd like to look at my other metrics to verify. My top three traffic sources are YouTube search, browse features, and suggested videos. Browse features is all about the algorithm, so I have little to no control of that. On the other hand, YouTube search involves people who are actively seeking out my content. I set the filter to lifetime to make sure I'm looking at the big picture, and surely enough, people are searching for plants versus zombies when they come across my content. And guess what? I saw similar results with the suggested videos. There's no mistake, people are subscribing to me at this point in time because of my Plants vs Zombies content. This has been the case ever since I had 100 subscribers, so I just continued making these videos. Now of course I make other stuff as well, but I make sure to organize everything into playlists so that my audience will have an easy time navigating my channel. I also sort them by most popular so that my top performers are on the covers. The second thing I learned is to interact with audiences. Based on my experience, I'm still able to tend to every single comment that I receive and make it very personal since I don't have a lot of audiences to work with. This is a great time to earn trust, respect, and loyalty. Here are some ways to do it. Every once in a while, you'll receive a comment that's so remarkable, you can't stop thinking about it. To reward the person, I would pin the comment. And trust me, it pays. Big time. Shoutouts are another way to empower your audiences, but only do it when they ask. I'd like to reiterate that in my case, I still have the luxury of making it very personal because I don't have a lot of audiences to work with. It's all about putting your aces in their places. Let's review. To get 500 YouTube subscribers, you need to do two things. One, use your analytics to find out what's working and run with it. Number two is to interact with audiences where you can pin comments and maybe do a shout out if people ask for it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, have a great day.